Hello there, this is Rahil from All About Affiliate Marketing. In today's video, we'll talk about how to create a free website for affiliate marketing purposes. Before we start, let's look at the definition of website. So according to you, what is a website? Uh, to put it in, in a simple words, just think of website being a book. So a book is what? It's a collection of pages, same way a website is a collection of web pages. But since these are not physical pages like book pages, that's why we call them web pages. So whenever you talk about a website, you know, the website will have numerous web pages in it. And like book, you know, book could be of anything, same way a website could be of anything. So you can you can have a website for like an e-commerce website, social interaction website, video streaming website, doesn't matter. So this is what a website. Similarly, you can have a website for affiliate marketing purposes. So when it comes to website, how do we get it? How do we create it? There are two kinds of platforms out there. The first kind of platform through which you can get the paid websites. That means you, you, pay, you pay them some subscription, mostly annual subscription or monthly subscription, and they give you with a website, a URL, and all those elements of the website. Uh, and the other type is those platforms that give you free websites. So we'll have a look at it. When it comes to the platforms who charge you something, I, I have included two of them here. One is bluehost.com. So once you get on their website, which is bluehost.com, you can explore, you can get started. As you can see how much they're charging per month. So it's pretty costly, you know, especially for the ones who do not have much knowledge about creating and handling websites. Then we got godaddy.com. Again, this is another domain which charges something basically a subscription for one year or more uh, to get domain basically website url or, or just to get the entire hosting web pages all that elements of the website so they charge you pretty much um, it's competitively it's costly but as the focus of the video is free websites so then we have I have, I have gathered like that. There are many platforms out there which will allow you to create free websites, but the top most that I, I was able to find and I like versus the Wix.com. And the second one is the Google Sites. So in this video, we'll talk about creating websites using Google Sites. So to create a website using Google Sites, all you have to do is just to Google search Google Sites on, on Google search engines. Uh, either on the right hand side you'll see the url you can directly click here or you can go down and just search for sites.google.com now when you will click on it let's see if i click on it it should redirect me two things gonna happen either it would redirect me to a dex uh to, to application extra application like this uh it's basically a dashboard or it will lead you to a login page where it will ask you to log in through your Gmail account. So if you're not already logged in on, on your Chrome browser or any other browser, then you can log in and it will take you to this dashboard as you can see here. For, for the first time when you come here, it may look to you, it's complicated to create and all, it's not. It's think of it this way. Um, these are all different kinds of themes using which you can create website. Not just that, if you want, you can create a start with a blank or you can choose from project, portfolio, events, help center. There are more, you know, you may either call them themes or, or template, whatever uh, you want to call them. If you click here, you'll see all their available templates that you can pick. I would highly recommend pick from the templates instead of creating your own because templates will give you at least some idea how to start with some elements of the websites. In our demo, we'll be choosing this project template so once you click on it, you know, give it a few seconds and it will take you to your website edit page. Again, give it a more few seconds. So this is the place where you can add it. You can start building your website. You can start editing it. Uh, first, we will start with the project name. So for the demo purpose, I'm gonna write the project name as all about affiliate marketing. So what is a project name? Project name is basically the name of the website. So that's what I have chosen here. And then this is uh, other elements of the websites. So if you remember when explaining about the website, I say the website is a collection of pages. So if you look on the right-hand side, you will see insert option pages and themes. So if you click on pages, 
currently the website that I'm building has four pages. One is the homepage, second history, third team, fourth FAQ, and I can add more as well. Let's try to add more. Let's go with test. So you click on this plus sign, which will take you to here. You can type in test and click on done. See, a new page got created. And all the elements that you see in this page would at least the, the navigation bar, the header and footer uh, would be same as the home page if you observe here. So since we have multiple pages in here and all you can see are different elements in here, this is the, the header, you can write your company name here. I can write all about affiliate marketing. All I have to do is whatever I wanna add it, I can simply just click on here and I can start just editing like this. And you can also just choose or make make any difference in here in any any elements. The moment you you put you will put your your mouse on on any or you'll click on any element, it will allow you to add it. Like you see from the pop up, you can add it. Um, all these things are editable. Now, what about like what if you don't want to have it? You want to delete it? You can simply click here, and you will see an option to delete. You can duplicate, or you can even change the color. And not just that, if you want to add to all these things that you, you see, I, I will call them elements. If you want to add them more elements, you can click on insert on from the right hand side. And just you, if you if you like to have uh, a text box, you can add it image, and or you can even integrate a link if you want. You can add blogs and all other elements from here it's totally up to you now the purpose of this video is not to show you how exactly you know added the website and all otherwise i would have covered more but the purpose is how to create a website so assume you have you have made all the changes in here you created all the required pages on the website now what if you want to publish it before you publish it you can click on this preview button the moment you click here this will show you how your website would appear to the consumer. You see, it's pretty good. It doesn't even look like that was created through a tool. And not just that, you see, this is the, the navigation bar. So if I click on FAQ, it takes me to the FAQ section of my website. See, it looks pretty cool. Same way you can go to any page as a consumer. So this is like just a preview. Now, this is how your website would actually look on desktop. And if you click on this section here, this is how I will look on tablet. And if you click on this, this is how it will look on your cell phone. See, pretty responsive as well. Now, let's say you created a website, you added all the things that you wanted to add, you wanna publish it. To publish it, you can click on this publish button, which will take you here. Now observe, when you'll be publishing it, it will ask you to do mention the the address. So as the name of the website that I've given is all about affiliate marketing. I can also write like this here, all about affiliate marketing. You see, so it will quickly search if this uh, exists or not to see this already exists. This is a great address, but it's already taken. I can just add 2022, let's see if it works. Yeah, you see, it's available. So I can put in the web address here and this will be the live URL once I successfully publish my website. But you see, this is like, it's, it's, a, it's a big one. It, it's, it's not like google.com or, or you know, something like godaddy.com, not a small one, but it has the domain of sites.google.com followed by some parameters in here. So you have an option to even go with the custom domain. Assume you, ha you have a custom domain and you don't want to use this URL. You can simply click on manage in here and you can click on start setup. If you have a domain from third party, a domain is just a website address that you might have bought from the third party. And if you want me to explain website domain you know, in depth, uh, do let me know in the comments and I would love to do that as well. So assuming you have a third party you have a website domain from a third party already. You can click here and click on next and enter the domain that you have. And then it will take you to more setup screen. Again, it's easy for, for you to follow. It's just simple, follow all the prompts that appears. And then this website will be, will be available on that web address that you keep. But what if you only wanna go with the default one that we saw? You can click on cancel 
and see we already mentioned the address here and this will be the url so you can copy it this url so that you can check it out later and you can click on publish give it a few seconds it will publish it should be published now as you can see the message here if i go to this address that i copied from there I can see my websites as a consumer would. You see, it's exactly how it looked in the preview. Again, it has, I have not added any elements in it. So that's why you still see it, it, it blank like it. But the point is you can create your website like this and you can just have it hosted with sites.google.com and anyone can come here and see your website. It is okay. If you don't want to buy a domain, you can still use this specific URL. But the only thing, you know, sometimes consumer may be skeptical just to go on a free website like this. So it's always better to have a custom domain at least. So the website will be there, but at least you will have a custom domain. So that's how you create a free website and that, that's how you publish it. Now, anytime you want to make any edits to it, you can open this URL on, on your Google Chrome where you're already logged in. You see I'm already logged in, in here. So you can click on edit here and it will basically take you to the same admin page where you were able to make sense um, and make sense of the changes that you, are, you want to do. And you can make the respective changes and then publish it again, you see? I can make the required changes in here and I can publish it. Now, the other question is, you know, I, I clicked on that pencil sign and that took me to this console page here. So would that be available to consumers as well? No, it will not. It will only be available to you only when you are trying to access your website using your browser in which you already logged in. And if you don't want to edit it like it, you can always come on site.google.com. You'll see your website in there and you can edit it. Basically, any edits you make, you can, after edits, publish it and it will be available for the consumers to use it. So that's how you create a website and that's how you publish it. Any questions surrounding more on these websites creation to let me know in the comments. Now, when it comes to the elements of the websites, the attributes of the websites, you have to take care of some, some things, especially for affiliate marketing websites. Because when you will have affiliate marketing website, you will be promoting these brands and products of these brands through networks out there. Uh, so first, your website should always be live because it's fine, you know, if the downtime is there for a few minutes or so, or five, 10 minutes, it's okay. Uh, but mostly your website should be live so that when you join those networks, if they ever review your websites, you, they would be able to access it. Second is a proper domain, meaning a website URL. So whenever you share your website URL, ensure you share it properly. Even one character missing from, from the URL will not let the person to see your website. So always be careful about it. Then comes security. So what is a security? I'll show you. So let's go to our website again. This is the URL for our website. Now observe, this is a question. Uh, this is a uh, lock sign here. And if you click here, you can see connection is secure. Now, if you double click here, you can see HTTPS. So secure websites are those websites which have HTTPS. And unsecure websites are those websites which just have HTTP, not S. Now, what's the difference between both these websites? If the unsecure websites, it's easier for hackers to, to take over your websites and do plenty of stuff which they shouldn't be doing um, and which will just cost the reputation of your website. So that's why it's always better to have a secure website. Other thing is the consumers. Consumers are more secure on a secure website than on the unsecure. And as you can observe from sites.google.com, we are getting a secure website. Anyways, whenever you, you, you ever create a website, so keep it secure, it will help you. You know, some networks might not even allow unsecure websites. Other thing is enough and quality content. So it's not like you create a free website without any content and then start using it for affiliate marketing. Some, some networks do consider the quality content. That means the website should have, have at least some content. You know, if, if you're promoting the products of different brands, I would say, you know, somewhere between 40, 50 products, at least 
it's totally fine, you know. So have some enough in quality content on your website. Apart from it, the the website should have enough web pages. What I mean by that, if someone goes to your website, what if they only see homepage? Uh, that's not good. You know, just homepage with not enough content. So why would network affiliate networks will allow you to stay and promote brands? Or why would brand even choose you to do that? So try to have more pages on your on, on your website, at least, you know, homepage, then category pages, then contact page, and different pages, like four or five at least, that should be fine. Even three should be fine. Now, the very important one is content without any copywriting issue. Sometimes what we feel like, and what do I mean by copywriting here? So to, to get in depth into it, Sometimes we feel like we can we can quickly search any content out there and copy it and paste it on our website. You know, Google search any content and just copy copy whatever is written about that topic and paste it on our website. That's called copywriting, and that's not allowed. If you're doing this, especially in affiliate marketing, first, affiliate networks will not even allow you to be there because it's not good, you know, copying the work of other people. So try to put in the original work that that you have and what if you're not good with writing in that case you know do let me know i may even cover a topic on that too but in any case if you're not good at, at writing and if you don't want to write too much you can simply just instead of putting the text you can simply just put in the images of the product that should also be fine that should also motivate enough for your customer to to click on on those products and you know make a sell for you for you to earn commission so just keep this topic in, in, in mind and ensure not to, you know, copy content from anywhere and just paste it on your website. Then privacy policy page. So what is a privacy policy? Whenever any, or, or you might have seen some websites, whenever you go, you generally see a privacy policy page. Now, privacy policy page basically has a huge stuff return. What it all does is just tells the consumer how their information is getting used, basically, you know, safeguarding the consumers. So if you're in affiliate marketing, many networks require or many brands require you to have privacy policy page on your website. Uh, it's easy to create, uh, create a privacy policy content. Do let me know if you're interested to know about that too. So once you have created the privacy policy content, you simply have to create a page and just put in there. But again, do not copy and paste from somewhere. Uh, so do let me know if you're interested to know more about this page. Then comes affiliate disclosure statement. Now, this is also very important. As the name suggests, if you have affiliate links on your website, then you must write about it. You must disclose it. So on, on the homepage or, or not on the homepage, it's basically wherever the tracking links are on your website, that web page should have one statement, you know, something like this. The web page has affiliate links and when you click on the, those links i make it and I, I may end up getting commissions out of it something like this what this tells to the consumer is about how you how you're monetizing your web, website so the question is is it really required for the consumers to be aware the answer is yes you know the consumer should be aware of whatever is going on, on your website that's for the transparency and that's why affiliate disclosure should be there now not all the networks give full concentration on this one but many networks do believe this that publishers should have affiliate disclosure so it's always better to have this on the website as well so these were some of the fine points to to keep in mind when you have a website for affiliate marketing purposes now any questions you might have more on, on this topic or any topic related to affiliate marketing I'm available, just let me know in the, in the comment sections and I would be happy to create a video on it. Um, and the purpose of this, this video was to just educate how to create a free website and what things to keep in mind. Uh, thank you for watching. Any question concern to write in the comment and don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified of any new content that I post. Thanks and have a great day.